Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways to get multi-output functionality out of your drum kit designer kits in Logic Pro, along with your drummer tracks in Logic Pro. This should work for both Logic Pro 11 and Logic Pro 10, uh, although there are some like naming conventions uh, that are a little different uh, in some of the earlier versions of Logic, so I'll get to that in just a bit. So a couple of days ago, I released a video on setting up contact drum kits for multi-output. And by multi-output, I mean the ability to individually mix each kit piece in the kit. So you can separate the kicks, the snares, the toms, the hi-hat, the overheads, um, and this gives you more mixed control over your drum kits. So Joel here comments, oh, thanks, uh, really good tip. Can I do the same with the drummer? I've been trying it and it lets me open it as multi-tracks and create the tracks, but I don't know how to assign each item to an output. In Logic, it's way simpler than that. You really don't have to assign any outputs. And there's actually two different ways to do this. You can do a multi-output kit or you can and use the multi-channel kits that used to be called producer kits in earlier versions of Logic. And I got a, a ton of great questions on that video, and so I'm gonna try to answer all of the ones that I think are like the most relevant and the most useful. So if there's something that you want to see me cover, please, by all means, leave a comment in the comments section below, preferably on whatever my newest video is, um, so I'll be more likely to see it and, and be able to do something with it. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. I've got a drummer track pulled up. I'm using the Neo Soul Kit just being accompanied by the session bass player and keyboard player. And what you'll see is the full drum mix is coming through the main uh, drummer channel or drum kit designer channel. So right now everything's in stereo. All of the instruments in the drum kit are being summed down to that stereo channel. The first way to do this uh, is, and this is kind of the old way to do it, is you go to your instrument here, and it should be drum kit designer. If it's one of the electronic drum kits, you're not going to be able to do this method, but the, the next method you will be able to do. Um, so I'm going to go to that instrument, go to uh, multi-output, and this will turn on multi-output for that instrument. Initially, nothing will change, but down at the bottom, you'll see that plus and minus button. So click the plus button four times, and this will give you four additional auxiliary channels. So the way this works is the main channel is like your symbols and, and overhead, I guess. Then you've got your kick, your snare, all of your toms, and then hi-hat and percussion on the, uh, the fifth channel there. And if you create another one, it's just an empty auxiliary channel. So that's as far as, as this will take us, but this does give you some, you know, basic mix control. Now that may work for just, you know, doing some simple stuff, but if you want like really deep mix control over your drum kit designer instruments and your drummer tracks, what I recommend using are the multi-channel kits. So I'm gonna load this back in stereo for now, not that it's really gonna matter, but I'm gonna select that track. I'm gonna go to the library. In the library selection for all of your drum kit designer instruments, you'll see an option at the bottom that says multi-channel kits. Now, if you're in Logic 11, I believe in all versions of Logic 11, these are called multi-channel kits, but in some versions of Logic 10, these are called the producer kits. Um, so it's just another name for the producer kits. So you click multi-channel kits, and you'll see all, uh, well, actually, you'll see more than what's available here, but they all have a plus next to them. So instead of choosing Neo Soul, let's choose Neo Soul Plus. And what this is going to do is it's going to completely reload that instrument in a different way. So instead of having just one software instrument channel with a uh, drum kit designer loaded on it, this actually creates a uh, track stack with all of the mixing sort of uh, built into it. Um, so you've got your overheads, you've got kick in and kick out mics isolated. So whereas the other way it sums the kick in and kick out mics down to one channel, here now we have individual control over each of the kick mics.
We've got snare top and snare bottom microphones. We've got hi-hat. Our toms are now separated. We have different uh, room mic channels. There's a leak channel. You get individual control over the percussion elements like your tambourine and shaker and hand claps if they're being used. And then there are these like sub mixes over here on the right. Uh, all, you know, where we're summing all of the toms together, all of the reverb together, all of the effects together, all of the rooms together. And so this gives you full multi-track control over your drummer instruments and your drum kit designer uh, instruments. And there you go. That's how you can access your multi-channel kits in Logic Pro for multi-output mixing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.